Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at CSS multi-column layout. What we're going to be accomplishing in this video is to take a series of Lauren Ibsen, my favorite thing, and break it up into three columns. This is different than the multiple column layout that you saw in Chapter 12 of the Cascading Style Sheets. What happens differently here is that any overflow gets moved to the next column and to the next column and to the next column. As you can see, I've already set up some basic web page structure, multi-column layout. I've created a class called Columns, which we'll be looking at. I've also created an H1 and H2 selector so that we can work a little bit with that. So what we're going to need to do with this, because not all of the major browsers support it, we will be working with the WebKit and the Moz for Chrome, Safari, Opera, and Firefox. So we're going to start out with just doing our normal column count, and we're going to make it three. And in order to make this real simple, I'm going to copy this and paste it twice. And then I can do dash WebKit. Oops, I forgot the K. And dash Moz. And that will take care of this for Chrome, Safari, and Opera. And this will take care of this for Firefox. Okay, so we're going to then just take a quick look. We'll go back to our code. Oh, I need to run it first. That was our original, so let's run this in Firefox. And you'll see we now have our three columns. But we're going to set some properties such as border, margin, padding, all of that. Let's go back and do a little bit more. So let's set a gap between them of 75 pixels. And again, making this easy. I'll copy that, add it. Copy the Moz, add it. And again, let's take a look. And you'll see we've created a little bit of extra gap between our columns. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to set here is we're going to set a rule for our offset for our border in between. So column, I'm going to use the shortcut rule of three pixels. We're going to outset it and I'm going to make it FF00FF so that it's very distinct. One more time and copy our WebKit and oh, type our Moz. Save this and reload. You can now see we have the break between and I'm going to shrink this down in my browser so that you can see both of them working, the two sets. And finally we're going to add just a little border around the outside so that you can see how the columns are working together. I'm going to do thin, blue, and solid. And so that our content doesn't bump right up against our border, I'm going to give it a padding on the inside of 25 pixels. And just so that our H1 and H2 are aligned over our columns, I'm going to give them a margin left of 50 pixels. So let's take a look and see what our final product looks like. Come on, reload for me. And there we go. Thank you for watching and continue watching for the next video.